Hi, so let's go for next uh, discussion on next uh, research proposal or SOP, whatever we call it. And uh, this is related to uh, doing MS in Department of Management Studies, DOMS, IIT Madras, very prestigious department, very prestigious course. And uh, there is no MTech uh, uh, in IIT Madras and there is only MS. So MS is little longer duration, maybe two and a half to three years, but very good course and very good placements. So, uh, you know, they ask for research proposal. So what is a research proposal or SOR? In that you have to tell who you are, first your academic background. They are not interested in your personal background, your academic background. When did you do, uh, I mean, uh, in which department you have done your B.Tech or uh, engineering or, you know, uh, whatever course you have done. And then uh, uh, what you have done in your graduation, which makes you suitable for this program. Uh, why DOMS and what you will do once you join the DOMS, in which area would you like to work. Like this particular SOP was made for operations. I have already uh, uploaded one SOP for marketing, digital marketing and this is for operations. So when student is to make the research proposal, he is to go through the profile of the professor and see what professors are doing in that department. and some synchronization should be there i mean between what professor is doing and what you are doing there should be some synchronization and accordingly you are to make your research proposal so this is uh, uh, related to operations in iit madras doms so it starts with some kind of philosophical lines uh, engineering is all about optimum use of resources or something like that so systems process techniques needs to be made more effective and optimum future economy is knowing known going to be knowledge and data driven economy so actually you are telling in which direction you want to go so knowledge data driven you know data uh, analytics or data science there are a lot of jobs so can i use data science for operations so it is moving in that direction so then you can give some kind of statement you know to quote yourself and then later on you can even refer some kind of uh, you know research paper from where you have taken that line Data is a new oil to be defined to extract unprecedented values. So actually this is, uh, you are talking about the business analytics and data science, you are moving in that direction. And uh, you know, this data analytics provides the real world solution to real world problems and uh, the future belongs to those industries which use the data to their advantage. So this tells that yes, I want to uh, work, uh, specialize in the direction of data analytics, business analytics and uh, Maybe I will be using that knowledge for, uh, you know, getting some benefit in the industry. So every business, every industry, which is data driven industry is going to get benefited in the future. So industrial engineering and operation research was the curriculum in my BTEC. So this is now you are telling how you are suitable for this industrial engineering and operation research you have done. So how you are suitable for pursuing your masters in this direction. That is what you are saying now. And uh, I also did supply chain management course during my supply management course from this particular university. Uh, I did my, you know, supply chain management uh, from this university during my graduation. And uh, I uh, came to know about effective way of transportation, warehouse, inventory management, logistics, lean and Six Sigma and these kind of things which I did during that particular course. So you are also telling that I have done particular course in this particular area. I want to pursue research in closed loop supply chain. So there is something which is related to that. So if you have done supply chain may some course and you are aware about that and now you want to pursue further. So what do you want to do? So you are telling that I want to do the course now in this particular direction and uh, it is amalgamation of forward supply chain, reverse supply chain. So the moment you write these things in your SOP, then in the interview, he is certainly going to ask you, what do you mean by these things and you need to prepare it. So the moment you get call from some IIT, some department, uh, based upon your SOP, then entire intro can be pulled in that particular direction. So now uh, you need to know what kind of questions can be asked. And I also want to tell you one more thing. When, once you are watching these SOPs, the purpose is that you get to know what SOP and SOR are and how you have to write that. And you are not to make copy and paste. Don't do copy paste. Uh, write your SOPs, correct it well and frame it in a nice way and then go to the interview. Originality should be there. Because otherwise, if you copy paste, you will not be in position to justify, it will not match your profile and you may get caught also. Reverse supply chain, uh, what is the meaning of reverse supply chain, what are the advantages, then you are uh, writing something about that. So greening the individual production processes, reverse product flow, this everything you are defining, what is the reverse supply chain. So this is relevant to you. 
so uh, now you are telling about some real world problem so manufacturer pay higher acquisition price for good quality return product and lower acquisition price for poor quality return product these objectives can you maximize maximization of the profit over products lifespan maximization of the number of parts reused so you are telling that where the scope is and what are the problems so you are also telling that uh, uh, refurbished uh, products have the market or something like that and there is a supply chain for that so in forward supply chain customer is typically at the end of the process so you are just explaining about forward and reverse supply chains and uh, you are also telling some kind of benefits related to that so <coughs> these are all points you have mentioned related to that only uh, so every product which is generated transported used discarded within supply chain has some degree of impact on environment so that is how you are justifying whatever you want to do this entire closed loop supply chain ka aap advantage bata rahe hain and then uh, circular economy and closed loop supply chain so if somebody ask you that in which domain would you like to work you are saying that closed loop supply chain and circular economy is something in which i want to work maybe you have some background related to that and now you are saying that so the moment professors will see your sop they will be uh, actually uh, talking about these terms they will be asking you what do you understand by this and why you want to do this uh, why you chose doms and is there any professor working in this area or something like that so that is how you are explaining all these things and uh, then uh, yeah so this then again you are mentioning about this only that uh, you know, what are the closed supply chain uh, closed loop supply chain management what are the types of return you are going to get and the user return end of life return all these things and then uh, you are uh, talking about yeah so you are also talking about you know this how you have uh, come to this different kind of models and uh, people have done some kind of work so as i al always told you that uh, whatever uh, research work you want to do you can always quote some kind of previously done research work in that area so if scholars have done some work in that area you can always quote that so the moment you quote any research paper you have to mention about that research paper and mentioning research paper or quoting some research paper related or relevant to the uh, research work which you want to do is always helpful so if you want to do research work uh, in closed uh, loop supply chain and if you are mentioning some research paper related to that it is always beneficial always helpful reverse logistics or closed loop supply chain are like uh, you know a uh, wide variety of return flow types so you are again explaining how, what are the benefits of that then you are saying why you want to do research work in this so you want to pursue research work focused on application of these processes management techniques used in this so you are talking that why you want to do now research work in this particular area so uh, production system used techniques of operation to plan model optimize addressing the issues of supply chain so you you are talking that if you want you want to do masters in this direction because there is a scope in this direction and this is a something which is a new thing and it will bring the business or benefit to the organization uh, in which you are and then uh, why iit madras and why doms so typical research proposal uh, consist of in which area you would like to work why you want to work in that area what you would like to do in that and why i that particular institute why iit madras why doms so maybe the people are working in iit madras in that particular area in that particular direction and that is the reason i also want to work in that and then holistic or uh, you know philosophical uh, things you can uh, uh, add that uh, uh, I, once I graduate from here, once I do my masters in this particular direction, in this particular area, then uh, I will be solving the real world problem and that will be bringing some kind of growth to the country, to the nation, to the organization, to the people that everything you can mention. And why IIT Madras Doms is the ideal place for you and uh, why you want to join this particular uh, department, those things you have to sum it up. So your strong reason to join that department what you want to do in that department that should be mentioned in research proposal so if you ask me sir what component should be there in research proposal answer is you should know what you want to do as a professor i would be looking for a candidate who knows that he is coming to me with some kind of idea in his mind detailed knowledge you may not be having but you may be knowing that okay there is something which is called 
you know reverse uh, uh, engineering or you know close loop supply chain reverse economic model uh, so that will bring business to my company and there's a need uh, you know to work in that area because that is a demand of the time and if i join it i'll be working in this area and if i work in this area this is going to be in the product so this is how you should be very clear and why doms only why not some another institute so you should be very very clear in this keep watching all the sops in the playlist you will get an idea how to make very good research proposal and then uh, you can seek the help of uh, your pdm mentors to put that in right perspective and then kind of questions interview may it can be asked from you if you go with these research proposals so what kind of questions can be asked that can also be done in that so go with this and keep watching all the sops thank you Thank <laughs> you.